Hey, how's it going, everyone? HFT or Happy Fun Times here, back with another, back with another video. <laughs> uh, and this one is going to be on the Undertale fifth anniversary. And I know it says alarm clock, winter dialogue right there, but this is part of what I'm doing in terms of Undertale shit. So I did see on Twitter a while ago that there it w there was an announcement for the 5th anniversary for Undertale, and I keep forgetting when the anniversary for it is, or the birthday, I guess. So, every year around October, I guess, is when I should know or be reminded. And unfortunately for me, I'm too fucking stupid and retarded to remember that shit. But it's okay, at some point, either this month, next month, or the month after, I'll be streaming Undertale in its entirety on YouTube once again. As is right now, though, uh, no, we're just going to make a video. We're going to do a video and, you know, show off some things, read some stuff about Undertale and Deltarune. Or maybe I should do the, the Deltarune one as its own separate video, because that's literally right here. And if you go on Twitter and you look right here, Toby Fox, or if you go to Toby Fox's Twitter, uh, he will have a thing where it's Deltarune development status update, September 5th, 2020. I honestly am cons oh no don't want to do that right now. Honestly, don't know if I want to fucking do that right now after this or after you know just the video in general. I'll probably do it in one go because there's a lot of things for this. And why are these characters' faces here? Is why we're getting into that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Also, Deltarune uh, stream coming up next month. Undertale, TM, 5th Anniversary Alarm Clock, Winter Dialogue. The dialogue on this app was originally intended to debut in the Undertale Alarm Clock, an app that would have served as the vehicle for various humorous uh, monologues from the characters. Development on the app has halted due to various criticisms, including asking the app developer to help with the development of Deltrune instead. Now, before I read the rest of that, I feel obligated to say... Come on, my guy. I know you want to work on more shit, but, like... And I can understand, you know, the stuff with, like, Sakurai, the music shit for, you know, the Sans Me Gunner, and, you know, the orchestra and a bunch of other stuff, but what I don't get is you've kind of given Delta and the Shaft up quite a bit lately, uh, my guy. Like, when you gave your progress support a year ago, at, mo at this point almost, the progress report consisted of three songs, two of them of which were the exact same. One of them was Welcome to the City, which is a good song. And the other two songs were good. They were just two different iterations of the same song. There was more fucking images of faces for text dialogue. And, you know, obviously it showed a picture of Noel, or Noel as the actual name is, but I, I'm just going to go with Noel because I like that better. Just like Sham... Instead of, sh you know, like, Sean, Sham, they made that joke. I'm still going to call him Seam, just because that's that's me. That's just what I do. And the reason behind that one I'm going to explain real quick right now is because he's a fucking stuffed animal that's falling apart at the seams. Come on. And they just made a joke probably because Sean can be spelled in that same way, but I'm going to say... I'm going to say Seam. And I'm going to say no. And I'm not sorry. Anyway, aside from that, <laughs> you've given Delta in the shaft. You had Timmy Chang work on an animated fucking image for the second anniversary for Deltarune and said nothing. And you've had radio silence on your Twitter for quite a while and only talked about, you know, Undertale. Which, Undertale is your meat and potatoes. That is what made you, you know, what you are today, aside from your work on Homestock and a couple other things. But Undertale, primarily, I would say, as, you know, aside from Homestock, is definitely one of the biggest things that you've done. And it's definitely one of the biggest things that's had a lot of impact on many of people's lives, mine included, when I streamed it and enjoyed it immensely. It was at the best time in, well, the worst time of my life, but the best time when I could possibly play something like this and use a morale boost and, you know, just go with it and just, you know, have fun. Pretend like everything's alright for a little bit, you know, and just distract myself from reality, and then obviously life got worse with the whole fucking Rona situation. But we ain't going any further into that. 
But no, the fact that you haven't done a lot, you haven't done a... That wasn't a progress report, because all you said was, you know, oh, here's some screenshots, and it was like literally three or four, and it wasn't even all that much. It was just the city, it was a picture of a dog and a little fucking, one of those little plastic uh, cars that you'd buy for your kids from Fisher-Price. Uh, there was a fucking uh, picture of Noel with her back to the camera in different colors, implying that she would, you know, go to the dark world. And there was a picture of different uh, faces for, you know, text dialogue. For Susie, Noel, and Rousey. And I think Birdly, I don't remember, but I do know for a fact that there was other, you know... There was different facial expressions that we hadn't seen in the first chapter of the game. So, in my honest opinion, although everything that you've done up until this point, you it is perfectly fine, like, you know, the whole orchestra, the other stuff, but my guy, Undertale is, at this point, five years old. I think you can take a break from working on any Undertale-related things and focus that attention on something that truly deserves it. Now, when I read the progress report that you've written so graciously and posted to us several years after, well... Not several years, uh, like a year or two, or a year and a half almost, after the fact that you, had, you said on Twitter yourself that you wanted to do a progress report of, you know, Deltarune and shit. And you have. You very much have. But that wasn't until a few days ago, or a week almost. So... In everyone's defense that asks you to just, you know, quit with the Undertale and go to the, de to the Deltarune, in my opinion, you can't really blame them, can you? By teasing us with Chapter 1, you've basically opened up Pandora's box and sprung interest. My god, when Chapter 1 first came out, I spent the entirety of my night hanging out with my friends. All night we played that game. Only once, but we played it, and we would all take turns reading the dialogue and experiencing it together. And it's like, my friend V, who knows that I, you know, record videos and stream, he fucking said, hey, Zero name that he calls me because that's my nickname because that was the alias he met me on on fucking steam he knows that he knows my real name at this point it my, 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 my real name isn't even a secret it's like what are you gonna do with first name my name is the same name as the fucking main character from uh, fucking medieval Daniel but aside from that I'm also glad that that is Daniel because I share that same name from the character from uh, mrs. doubtfire where the main character that um, dude played, the main guy, uh, he played his genie from Aladdin. I'm sad that I forgot his name at this moment in time, but I'm glad I share the same name as him because the, he's a really fuck. he was a great actor. He was one of my favorites. Robin Williams, fantastic fucking man. But again, I'm getting sidetracked, I just want to get this done and out of the way before I continue with it, because when I continue with it, there's going to be a lot of reading, because I've, I've already read up until Sands, and I, I figured, well shit, make a video about it, read all this stuff, and it's like, okay, I'm gonna do it. So, I digress from that now, going back to the main thing, me and my friends enjoyed it. My friend, uh, he's like, hey Zero, I know that you, you know, you want to fucking stream this, and you want to play it for the internet, but I want you to experience it with, you know, with me and a couple of other, fr of our other, of our other friends. Uh, you know, just you, me, and a couple of other, fr other, I can't even fucking do that. Of our other friends, there we go. Uh, me, him, Joji, and I think our friend Skrillex was there, and we were all, like, taking turns, like, you know, reading dialogue as V played through the game, and it was great, it was fun as fuck, and I enjoyed it immensely, it was gorgeous. It was one of the best times that I'd had since I'd streamed Undertale, and then when I'm like, wow, I streamed Undertale, and recently this came out. I streamed it before October, and then as soon as Halloween hit, it's like, dude, there's more. Toby did it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He did another thing. And I, I read the fucking text on Discord, and then when I went back upstairs on my laptop, there it was, Delta in Chapter 1. I downloaded it. I'm like, dude, I want to play this for myself. And it's like, well, I, I, you know, I want you to experience it with me and our other friends. I'm like, well, you, me, and our, our other friends, obviously, that, that does sound fucking great, and it was, so, I digress from that. But no, uh, in, all, in my honest opinion, Toby, 
you can't really use that as a, as a means of like kind of being like fuck you guys this didn't happen because of you and I don't think that's what it's ge you know geared towards I don't think that's what it's geared towards or fucking aimed at or in that way I think it's just more or less basically st quit asking me to do this if I'm working on something else or you see what happens when you tell me to work on something else well here's the thing and I'm not gonna say it yet but a lot of work on chapter 2 has been done and that's good I don't know how many chapters there are going to be, but speak up, talk about it, answer questions. You don't have to answer everything, but answer some things. Now we're going to get on to the rest of this, and I do apologize for that long extra uh, fucking talk. I think it's been like, oh, it's only been ten minutes. <laughs> Snort. Alright, well, let's get on to it. So, rather than have the dialogue gather dust, I have taken an... Excerpt and rewritten it for display here. As always, uh, it's recommended you don't read this dialogue until you've completed Undertale. Why? I feel like that's important because... Obviously, you want to, uh... Well, you want to fucking actually get a feel for the characters, their personalities, and, you know, just them in general, and... Yeah. Except first one is Toriel, obviously, and I don't really agree with her dialogue. I mean, it... Her and old Sansy boy here, and yes, their eyes do make different expressions, except for Naps the Book. He doesn't... He's not feeling it right now. I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> I don't agree with Toriel's or Sans. Alright, let's see. Fifth anniversary alarm clock dialogue. Toriel. Winter. The most wonderful thing about winter. Oh. Or about... Uh, that, was, that was a question, because I just saw the question. I'm sorry. Most wonderful... The most wonderful thing about winter? Oh, it's, uh... It's, it has to be coming home at night with the snow still sparkling, getting out of the cold and into a warm, uh, warm house, which is still freezing because a dog is sleeping on the vent. Oh, well. That is what fire magic is for. Whoa. You do that to a dog? Leave! Weird gap, but okay. I want to knit something for all my friends. Or all my friends. Fin muffs for Undyne. A tail warmer for Alphas. A horrible ugly sweater for Sans. Mittens for Papyrus. That I suppose he can just wear over his gloves. Oh, Sans is just terrible during the winter time. Uh, th there was this evil thing he did recently. He intentionally stood outside in the cold until his bones were absolutely chilled. Then he said, Tori, can we talk about something? So I leaned down to listen to him, and he just put his horrible freezing hands right on my face. You you're covered in fur. I am going to start pouring hot water on him before I let him in. Now that's not the thing, I'm concerned about that face and where it's gonna go on the internet. God damn it. A uh, ego central. Fucking uh <laughs> The winter party? Oh ha 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 ha. Uh ha w w we will not discuss this. Which now I understand. I completely fucking forgot about this and now I realize that yeah, I'm gonna fucking first things first. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna send that to my friend V. <laughs> we'll send that to V. Oh, what? the dog! He opens his mouth when you fucking up, Robert. I didn't know that. And you can actually like you can you can you can grab him and use him as a thing if you really want, like a fucking emote or whatever. Going back though, because there's a lot of things to read. Alright, here we go. Naps to look. Winter. Oh, I like winter. You can go out to a great big field where it's all quiet and let uh, the snow fall right through you until you're buried deep in a snow sp uh, <coughs> snowbank. And yes, I go when I mess up just because it's funny. Um, I wouldn't do that if you aren't a ghost. Uh, when it gets freezing outside, uh, and I'm feeling a little melancholy, uh, sometimes I like to have a cry and watch my tears turn into beautiful ice crysicles. Oh, sometimes it's so beautiful, it just makes me cry even more. Fucking Jesus Christ, my guy. 
Metaton wants me to, uh, wants to hire me uh, for a ski resort. Trying to ice up uh, the slopes with my tears. Oh, I always wanted to do that. Wunderbar. Alright, here we go. Fucking papyrus. Winter. Winter. Now that's my time of year. As in, it's essentially diff uh, <laughs> default to me. I fucked up on that word, I'm sorry. So it doesn't really excite me that much. But this year was very special. We were able to put on a big holiday celebration for all our friends. All sorts of people came to the party, uh, bearing gifts. Or came to the yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, there's shit going on outside my room, and it's kind of distracting me a bit. For example, Alfred or Undyne and Alfred brought a pair of treats. Undyne brought a container of her famous spaghetti, which when it was oh, which uh, yeah, when it was opened. Seemed to only contain flames, and Alphys brought a cookie kit, uh, tin containing a small fire extinguisher to wash it down with. Much merriment was had, gathered around the, uh, the television, watching seasonal specials like Metaton Saves Santa Claus and Metaton the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Narcissistic prick. I noticed Asgore getting teary as he watched. He must have been stunned by the raw emotional beauty of the 30 minute long dance party in the middle of the e of every movie. As the night progressed, Miss Toriel got very rowdy. I think she had too much eggnog. She started drawing hair on my <laughs> my brother's head with a marker <laughs> and singing holiday songs very loud but replacing uh, the lyrics with cursed words. Okay. She kept trying to get Alphys to sing with her holding her little yellow arms and waving them back and forth. We ended up locking her in the garage where she fell asleep. She looked kind of bad, or yeah, lying there, so we put a cloth on her, or over her, and some candelabras on top to make her match the decor. That's a wonderful thing to do to somebody, my guy. At the end of the night, Sans was curled up on the couch sleeping in his clothes as usual. Come on, Sans. You don't even have a blanket. It's dishonorable to sleep without a blanket. But he didn't hear me. So I had to put one, put a blanket on it myself. Sigh. Pathetic, isn't it? A grown man getting tucked in without even telling me a bedtime story. What a mess. Bottles and confetti everywhere. Broken eggs and spears on the ground, on the floor. Well, same principle. One of Metaton's legs lost in the confusion. Sans had better help me clean this. I had half a mind to wake him up. But seeing Sans sleeping so loudly made me think. He never said so, but... Uh, I think he was happy to celebrate the holidays. With so many friends. I can't remember the last time he was able to, uh, to do that. Maybe after a day like this, he was having a nice dream. So I, left, I let him sleep. Oh, thank God we're at the end. But he better not expect me to clean up by uh, by myself next time. That good dream was my present to him. <laughs> oh, my Jesus Christ, I apologize for the butchering of shit, but between the voice and again, the stuff going outside my room, I kind of don't really have a choice, so, you know, it is what it is. Sands, winter. Winter's cool, huh? Well, that's putting it mildly. Uh, this winter, Papyrus threw a holiday party for everyone. He pretty much set up everything himself. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of him. All I helped him with was, uh, deboning the food. Oh, haha, funny. So I removed the bones, uh, put in the cake. Oh, okay, I see. The salsa. The... What the fuck is that? The gay... gay... I don't, I don't know what that is. It's dip, the uh, the punch, the oh yeah, even uh, he even made a a welcome a welcoming puzzle for the party, a giant labyrinth made of ice, snow, and musical uh, ornaments. Oh, that's cute. Uh, to baffle and confuse his friends with holiday cheer. You uh had to get through that and to get to the front door. 
think Asgore got lost in there for a while. Undyne had to go uh, save him. Yeah, of course she did. She found him huddled around a home made of fire. Or a homemade fire. My mistake. A home made of fire. <laughs> I'm stupid, sorry. Eating a fruitcake like <laughs> like it was an MRE. <laughs> I think everyone else kinda came through the door or the back door. Alright, fair enough. Not gonna lie, the party was kind of a mess. But you know, isn't it isn't that nice? Starting something's a half uh half the deal. Nothing happens if you don't reach for the uh stars, okay? Or at least that's what he's always saying constantly. Trying to wash his hands in his giant sink, of course. Well, he only the fucking sink has been elongated. No, don't don't read that. I already read it. On Alf is now. And I keep butchering shit because I, I keep hearing shit outside. And it's like typing while you hear shit, or it's like typing while someone's talking to you. It's 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 almost unfucking possible. Alf is winter. I'm I'm not really a huge fan of winter. The days getting shorter is a huge letdown. Plus, uh, when I get cold, I tend to um, start moving and talking in slow motion. Fortunately, this winter, I had a brand new, extremely efficient space heater. I made a nice space to put the heater in, too. I put it in a hole in the floor, then put a table over it, then covered the table with a blanket to the floor. What the fuck? Alright, fair enough. It's really nice putting your legs uh, underneath. Uh, of course it is. What's more than... Uh, what's more? Er, the heat tends to attract cute kitties. Okay. And by that I mean... Um, found Caddy sleeping under there. I uh, didn't invite her over. Or er, didn't even invite her over. She said something like, Hey Elvis, like, don't worry. I got you an orange, but it was um, just a peel, or just the peel. She um, ate all the all my oranges. Okay, that's that's great. She had to get her stomach pumped. Uh, cats can't um, eat oranges. I'm actually curious about what the fuck that's about. The next day, I heard uh, dance music coming from under the table, with colorful colorful. Colorful flashing lights. There we go. It sounded like there was um a crowd under there. I tried to sit uh, with my legs under it like normal, but someone came out and asked me if I was on the VIP list. Actually, maybe I'll just use a fireplace next year. Space heater. She means... Moy? What the fuck? While she was performing her regular repairs on me, she installed uh, modifications on my uh, rectangular form to allow me to ahem, exceed my normal hotness. Then, oh, uh, begged me my to hang around her. Okay, table. Uh, well, welly well. Who am I to refuse my biggest fan? But don't think, ah, uh, you fucking asshole. But don't think uh, being under a table means uh, the show won't go on, darling. You fucking asshole. Undyne was so cute at the party. Oh my god, that fucking face. Uh, wearing the special Mew Mew cat ear earmuffs I gave her. She doesn't even have ears. And uh, then, I don't know, like singing outside of karaoke, but... If she even hears a single verse, she can't help but join in. She she's um not great at staying in tune, but she puts her heart into it, and that's music to my ears. She almost makes it uh, a contest to sing the loudest. Between her and Toriel singing carols, uh, it got uh, pretty loud. That was um eh, one of the things that made her um we we don't have to discuss this. Okie dokie then, let's go to Metaton and then we'll go to fucking Undyne after this. Metaton, winter. House looking barren, tired of tacky tinsel. Uh, why top your tree with a five pointed star? I know where you're going with this. When you can top your tree with a TV star, try MTT brand holiday ornament. Uh, MTT brand ornament will rotate and dance. 
MTT brand uh, ornament can speak several poorly di digital digitized uh, phrases. Wearing MTT brand... Uh, warning, not wearing. I thought he was going to say that the ornament was wearing, like, fucking Christmas clothes or something. I got distracted by a fucking fly that was, like, walking around up here, but he's dead now, so don't worry about that. Or at least I think he is. Fucking hope not, he's still alive. Warning, MTT brand ornament may dest uh, destroy other ornaments out of, out of je jealousy. Excuse okay, fair enough. Warning, do not uh, antagonize MTT brand ornament. Warning, if MTT brand ornament escapes, call the authorities immediately. What the fuck's it gonna do? This is just a mini version of- you fucking- you know what, whatever. Papyrus' holiday party. Oh yes. I was just offered, or just offering to Miss Toriel a sample of my MTT brand Super Adult Winter Eggnog when, out of the corner of my optical uh, sockets, I spied a certain pink-haired hussy in the kitchen, uninvited, pouring Blookie a cup of ghost juice in the most unrefined manner. And generally making an incorporeal mess. Okay, all over the floor. Oh, my stars. Look, darling. If you can't properly lift a teacup uh, delicately with the tip of your high-heeled boots. Oh, I see what you're going, where you're going with that. Fucking legs. Then just turn 360 degrees. Okay. Fuck you. And walk directly in front of you, uh, out the door. Okay. I, I see what you, yeah, you talking about walking, gotcha. I'm sure you'll ha you'll have a uh, better time in the maze, uh, yeah, or in the mind maze, my mistake. Again, I'm sorry, I'm not good with reading out loud, I'm, I'm really fucking sorry. Then, oh my, she had the absolute robotic gall. The, uh, to challenge me to a chainsaw duel. Please, darling, I would never engage in such barbaric activities. Or activity, my mistake. Uh, I, I wanna fucking, I'm sorry, every time I read shit, my mind wants to replace it with other words that seem like it would fit, whereas, like, pre-written shit is, like, I can do it, but my mind's gonna wanna replace certain words, which is why I don't read it 100% as is. If it's not being recorded, uh, but still, she, uh, escalated the situation, pouring ghost juice into my smile sensors, and it wasn't even a flavor I liked. Haha, <laughs> not like, or not that I know anything about ghost flavors. Of course you do. The situation had gone flipsy-dipsy, darling, so we decided to settle things as responsible adults. With bombs and various bullets, uh, you know, of course. I ended up uh, so dazzled by my own moves, uh, I can hardly recall the details of the event. But I remember Alphys and Undyne peeling us off the floor. My head laying in Alphys's uh, extremely small knee. On her extremely small knee, not in, Jesus. Where, where is Napstablook, I asked. Stop pretending to die dramatically. They left. Yep, yeah, they did. Okay. They left. Why? I asked dying dramatically. They don't like fighting. I mean, that's, that's fair. Mew Mew and I looked outside. Our hands, uh, conspicuously close on the window. Okay. Blookie was out there crying. Tears uh, forming into a beautiful ice into beautiful ice crystals. I'm sorry. I felt a strange feeling. Two of them. Uh, one, a pang of regret, and two, I bet it would uh, be really popular if they could cry up ice for my ski resort. Yep. No, no. There's nothing else leading to that because that long gap means if they can cry up, you know, for a ski resort, or whatever. Blah 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 blah. Alphys went back to the living room with Undyne, uh, leaving Mew Mew and I alone in the kitchen. Undyne, uh, she sure is happy with Alphys, huh, Mew? Uh, 
She said, for, uh, forcing a smile. Oh, that's, that's always lovely. Yes, and Alphys, she sure is happy with Undyne. I said with a dazzling grin. And so we stood there in silence. Wait, what? Wait, I'm... Wait, wait, huh? Oh, no. Wait, what? Now I'm confused. Undyne, she sure is happy with Alphys, huh? Mew. She said, forcing a smile, yes, and uh, Alphys, she sure is happy with Undyne. I said, with a dazzling grin, dot dot dot, okay, no, you said nothing, alright, that, that was the whole thing, gotcha. And so we stood there, in silence, drinking ghost juice, that neither of us could taste. Okay. Alright. Undyne, winter. My favorite thing about winter, it's gotta be, uh, winter sports, of course. Snow wrestling, snow baseball, snow football, and of course... Snow hockey. Well, hockey, that's that's just a thing. The last match we had uh, played was unforgettable. Uh, me, Asgore, and Sands versus Alphys, Toriel, and Papyrus. Action, betrayal, teamwork. It could have uh, it could have been a movie. Hmm, a disaster movie maybe. Hey, what the heck are you doing in my monologue? I was the the. The referee, uh, darling. Ref, all you did is sit on the side in a super tall chair, taking selfies with giant sunglasses on. I can't help that the sun sparkling off the ice uh, highlights my natural beauty. Natural. Anyway, uh, it was a great match. Everyone had a blast. Of course they did. Alphys was uh, running from you and yelling the whole time. You've got to tackle the, the person with the puck, which got accidentally stuck to her stick from the, the cold. Okay. Oh, really? Or, uh, really? I thought uh, she was just playing really well. Uh, bursting from the ice uh, like a shark didn't uh, help her either. Look, I wanted her on my team, but Papyrus chose her first. Okay. Don't worry, Alphys. I won't let you get uh, picked last. Aw. That's fucking sweet. I was going to pick her, Papyrus. I was <laughs> go I was going to. Speaking of Papyrus, he was on, he was on me the whole match. Almost uh, literally. He kept tackling me the whole time, but... Uh, he put on so much, uh, protective gear, he just bounced off me with a noise like a sp <laughs> squeaky toy. Oh, it's adorable. When he did get, uh, the puck, he just passed it back to Alphys. Except for once, uh, when he passed it to Sans. Because he forgot they weren't on the same team. Sans gave it back, though. <laughs> Sans. Aw. That's right, I was playing with a handicap too. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's actually making me smile because thinking about all this is adorable. Because Papyrus, or Sans just wants Papyrus to be fucking happy, and Papyrus is just a fucking big lovable idiot like me. Except he's a little bit more dys dyslexic, I would imagine. Uh, yep, you know. My teammates were barely playing. Toriel and Sans just stood at the center of the ice, uh, slapping their hockey sticks together over and over, saying stuff like, Is this how you play? Is this how you play? <laughs> While pretending not to understand the rules. <laughs> Meanwhile, my other teammate, Asgore, uh, ended up falling into a fish hole in the ice. Or a fishing hole, my, my mistake. Uh, getting his uh, legs stuck inside. Uh, I was, uh, so into the game, I didn't notice until, er, and he, uh, didn't really say anything, so, anyway, I eventually pulled him out. You damn sure did. Only to discover, uh, some king had been, uh, written on his behind in Magic Marker. Eventually, uh, Alphys got a, he a, a headache, and, yeah, it's funny. 
It makes it sound like they're farting randomly, and I do apologize, but I, it, it is, it's just fucking noise I make when I mess up sometimes, I promise. It's not to be stupid. A headache and had to take a break uh, to watch Mew Mew's virtual streamer event. Oh! So I decided to swap the teammates around uh, to something more fair. Everyone against me, they agreed. We will not lose, Undyne. We'll show you the power of love in hockey. Papyrus uh, relied his... or er, rallied, I'm sorry, not relied. I'm stupid. Stare, you try staring at a black and white screen and try reading shit. Sometimes it, you, your fucking eyes get lost in it. Uh, rallied his team together for a huddle to discuss strategies. Or so they thought. You left yourselves wide open. I knocked everyone down like bowling pins and scored repeatedly. Uh, the game timer reached the three quarters point in, the, in a flash. Haha, 77 points to zero. You thought you could win. I laughed in everyone's faces. Uh, everyone's, uh, everyone's face individually while flexing. Then Papyrus looked uh, dejected. The power of love wasn't enough. Damn it, Papyrus, I, I went too far. I was about to apologize to him when suddenly Sans scored a goal behind me. Uh, then he went over to Alfie's humming and did some kind of finger pointing arm crossy dance. Alphys pushed him away and told him to stop being cringe culture. What the fuck? Then Papyrus had uh, the puck. I was gonna steal it when Toriel tackled me uh, from the side, letting him score. You've got guts, old lady. Uh, though it wasn't too bad being pinned by something so fluffy. Please no. It's just opening Pandora's box for the internet to make something of. Don't stop it right now. Do not log into your fucking Rule 34 account and post that image. Stop it right now. And so it kept going. Toriel tackling. The puck suddenly disappearing. Papyrus scoring. Sans dancing. Alphys and Asgore watching videos. Wait, even Alphys scored at one point? Alphys, I thought you, were, uh, you weren't playing. Eh, I just wanted to know what it felt like. Finally, I only, uh, only a few minutes left in the match. 100 to 99, uh, bite your nails, bite your na your fins, okay. 100 to 99. That sounds fantastic. It was all down to this as we, uh, squared off on the ice. Then a little white dog showed up and stole the puck. Nobody could catch the, the damn little thing. And ended up running in circles jittering in and out of the goal, racking up hundreds of points. Eventually, it dropped the puck in front of Papyrus, wagging its tail, and I smashed it into the sky. The puck, I mean. The dog jumped after it uh, up into the light in the sun, uh, of the sun and never came down. Our final score? 100 to 99 to 255. Winner, dog. How does that count? So, nobody won. What the hell uh, was the point of all the, that struggle? Or whatever the fuck. Everything seemed lost, until Toriel took out a thermos and poured everyone some warm alphabet soup. Oh, that's sweet. You know, relaxing on a snowy blanket next to the heater, uh, drinking homemade soup together after a tough match. Kinda makes you feel like everyone's a winner, right? Haha, uh, psych. Screw that dog. I won. I totally won. Did you just call me the heater? Yes, you might as well be. You were declared the heater in Alpha's thing. Oh, I drank some too, even though it passed... Fucking fly, it probably died. It got away, I'm assuming. It passed through me. Uh, it was a little. It was a little warm. But best of all, uh, there was a special, a, sp a special message in the bottle of the alphabet soup. One that made me tear up. It was made, or it was the lyrics to my favorite holiday song. Ooh. 
Oh, I thought there was gonna be a sweet moment, and I was gonna be like, oh, it's cute, but no. Flowey winter. Golly, the best part about winter, probably the beautiful uh, white snow blanketing uh, the ground. Completely uh, indistinguishable from the dust of your friends. Ha 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 ha. Huh? What do I want this year? Uh, when you grow up, you stop wanting things for the holidays. Besides, even if you brought me, say, a bike, uh, where would I even put it? And how would I even ride it? It'd be a complete waste of everybody's time. A red bike with a golden basket. It'd be completely useless. You hear me? Useless. This, uh, this ribbon? Uh, who cares? Who gave it to me? Or who cares who gave it to me? Please. Oh. He was wearing a ribbon. I didn't even know the whole time. Uh, I haven't lost the right to be, uh, snug, have I? Nah, nah, I suppose not. Hee hee hee, you're jealous. Golly, that's right, the party. They left her, or they left her there. Abandon her in the in the garage to rot in the cold. Her mind burnt to nothing from all that uh, merrymaking. He he. To think she's made so many friends. They're lucky they never saw her uh, in the ruins, living in loneliness, waiting for someone to fall down. At her very worst, even forgetting to eat or sleep. Oh my God. Pathetic. I remember finding her, uh, and laughing, laughing at how miserable she looked, uh, splayed out on the ground in weakness, gardening the ruin, er, uh, garden of the ruins? Ha, you can't even, uh, take care of yourself, or gardener, guardian. I'm sorry, I thought, I thought she was there to water flowers, I was thinking gardening, I'm sorry. I'm retarded, alright? Fucking goddamn. And then, I don't know why, but with half-closed eyes, she touched my face and said, Asriel, I'll never, f I'll never let you go again. And I fell asleep. Idiot. You can't even take care of yourself. Er, why yes, there was a time in the ruins when I had fallen asleep on the floor. Uh, how did you know that? The strangest thing was that when I woke up, I was in bed and there was a glass of water next to me. I always assumed I had forgotten to get up, but uh, a long time ago, I knew someone that always filled up their glass. Uh, so the liquid was just peeking over the brim. It was the most efficient way to fill, uh, they said. Regardless of how thirsty they were, uh, because of that, my son started doing it too, and there were a lot of spills in the house. Anyway, in the ruins that time, uh, the glass was full, just like that, and recently, uh, when I woke up after the party, the glass next to me was too. Asgore, winter. I like Santa Claus. Uh, oh, all right, that's that's a great fucking that that's a great statement. He's a nice old man that never changes. No matter how cruel everything gets, he laughs uh, calmly and confronts uh, the people of the world. Don't you think he's a bit like a superhero? To tell you uh, the truth, I was never an excellent leader, but I I think I might be a nice Santa Claus. Ho ho ho. Aww. Though, I cannot fit inside the chimney, uh, of course. Last time I tried, I just got stuck. Uh, they ended up uh, drawing a face on my behind. 
gee willikers. Oh god. Uh, Rudy loved the holidays, you know. Around uh, that time of year, he put on his glowing red nose, and we'd walk into the night together, placing presents side by side in the snow. I was his Santa, he was my Rudolph. I can still hear him tapping his uh, door frame slightly, or saying, uh, don't forget the mistletoe big guy. And, or as I walk into his uh, Snowden cottage, uh, with a warm slice of fruit cake on the table, his youngest daughter peeking shyly from around the corner for a little while. It was like another home. Oh, I knew him for a long time, even when I first met uh, met him at Hotland University. He always called me Big Guy. As time passed one day, he started looking older than I. I remember him saying, Guess I have to call you Little Guy now, huh? Then he paused and said, Nah, you'll always be a uh, Big Guy to me. You wanna know why? Why, I asked him. Because, Gory, you're bigger than me, stupid. <laughs> he just kept laughing. Uh, physically bigger, idiot. Ha ha ha. What a funny man. Now hold on. What the fuck did he say? It was Rudy from, like... I was thinking of something else. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, I can still hear him tapping on his door frame saying, Oh! Okay, I get it. See, I was thinking of that one thing, that one monster that looked like a reindeer. No, now I remember Rudy is the daughter of Noel from, or Noel from Deltarune. I was there for it all. His youth, his marriage, his fatherhood, then suddenly one day he fell down. Rudy, I was never able to show you the sun, but Rudy would be happy to see our world today. His daughters get to grow up in the, uh, the sunlight. The youngest one has such a kind face. I think she'll make many new friends. Isn't that nice? Ask where the heck are you st uh, standing alone in, in the cold? I finished putting out, um, all the presents. Not much for me to do now, uh, I'm afraid. But are you kidding? Come on, we're about to, uh, light up the tree. Oh, of course. Golly, it's quite a large one this year. Yeah, haha, I smashed a few together to make this super tree. Super tree? Look, Asgore, matching red scarves. Matching with who? Me and my... Where'd he go? Alright, everyone. Uh, time to flip the switch. Three, two, one. Lights on. Oh, how wonderful. This tree is... It's beautiful. Yeah. There's even a decorated one with lights over... Over here. Wow. That tree is so be is also beautiful. <laughs> Here, everyone, a cup of warm soup. Well, you really filled it up, huh? Of course, it's more efficient that way. It is, isn't it? Hey, everyone, uh... Let's sing carols. Oh, shall we? Don't forget the star on top of the tree. Oh, it's a winter, uh, miracle. Get down from there. <laughs> Mew Mew, cue the dance music. How the heck can we sing carols to this? Uh, no way to know if you don't try. Then shall we? Uh, not like you'd get the original lyrics right away. 
or right anyway. Undyne will show you the power of winter. Hey, I'm I'm on your side. <laughs> ho ho ho! What a wonderful winter. Oh, there's more. September. Did nobody notice it was September? I'm gonna have to read all this during Christmas again. I'm sorry, but that's fucking horrible. And I'm, I'm gonna go back. I, I, I can't fucking... I can't look at that anymore. I really can't. I apologize immensely. Uh, if you click this, though, obviously, you know, you, you, you got this right here. Fifth anniversary concert stream. Um, stay, play. It's a YouTube video. Please take your seats. The concert will begin shortly. How long is it? Oh, it's a premiere. Oh, it's still premiering. I'm sure this is already on YouTube, honestly. Well, I'm... I'm done with that. No, not Discord. I wanna see how long I've been going on for. Almost an hour. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, after... What the fuck? Is that a plush toy or is that a sticker? Includes a shirt designed by Toby Fox to benefit uh, United Way COVID-19 response and recovery funds. Delta and oh, status. And, oh my, there's a... Wow, there's a lot. Let's see, Deltarune status update, September 2020, does this take me to the same thing? It does, so we can't read that right now, but what is this? Undertale 5th Anniversary Alarm Clock. That's so fucking cute, and there we go. Undertale Line Stickers Volume 2 is here. That takes me to a whole other thing. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, animated stickers... Uh, Junior, have a skill ton of fun. Does the character slowly become less and less on uh, design? Do something. Okay, I mean that's cool. I guess that's cute. Aw. Uh, well, I mean, I mean technically, duh, eh, it's fine. I, I, I don't know. I I don't understand how you would pay for these, honestly. Like, what, do you just pay for and then you get to fucking download it? I'm 90% sure at some point these are just going to be on Google. But, you know, it's that's genuinely fucking cool. I really like that. And then, of course, if you completed Undertale, you may be interested in Deltarune. To which now you can check this out. Chapter 1 is free, and then you have the trailer right there for Deltarune. But I'm going to end the video here, uh, as of right now, honestly. It's been almost an hour, and I need to get my bearings straight, and then we'll proceed to Deltarune. And that will be its own video. So, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. That helps out a lot. If you want to join my Steam group or my Discord, links are in the description below. You'll be notified whenever I go live or upload a video and all that jazz. If you want, or no, Steam group for notifications, Discord for notifications, and to be social with me and other viewers and such. 
if you want to check out the two mod lists I made for Don't Starve and Don't Starve Together, I didn't make them, I just, you know, put them all in a fucking list for you to check out mods that I personally use. Feel the need to state that, because I never really do, and I, it's important that I do, because I'm not, I don't want to take credit for someone else's work. So. There you go. That's a thing. Have fun with that. Shameless plugs, associated channels, and... Social media in the description. So, have fun with that as well, and I will see you all in the next live stream video, whichever comes first. Have yourselves a good day. Bye bye.